okay in question three they say it's a five marks question and that's an integration one you have the integral of x plus 3 whole square over 3 root x and dfx it's an integral of a function you know um, whenever you have to integrate the function you need to simplify that to the extent you can okay to the simplest form so first of all you see there is a square on the top i have to open the square how do you open up x plus 3 whole square you write x plus 3 x plus 3 okay now expand it multiply x with x expansion binomial expansion so x times x will get you x square and then x times plus 3 will get you plus 3x okay multiplication with x is done now you, you will look at 3 plus 3 times x is plus 3x and 3 times plus 3 will get you 9 okay plus 9 you cannot exceed this line you have to stay within the boundary and also obviously you can't use the pink um, it's just the paper i'm solving here but you have to use either black or blue okay and you cannot exceed the line so it is going to be x square plus 3x plus 3x would be 6x and then plus 9 okay so expansion on the top i cut x square plus 6x plus 9 over you keep 3 root x as it is in the bottom now um, there is an expression on the top and a function algebraic function in the bottom so you can separate the denominators like you can write x square over 3 root x the same denominator for every term so you can separate it with each term okay plus 6x over 3 root x plus 9 over 3 root x okay uh, we can simplify it more this x square and this root x is basically x to the power of 1 by 2 now you know when we move same basis you subtract the power so it's 1 by 3 x to the power of 2 minus 1 by 2 okay plus 6 divided by 3 here the numbers you can divide the numbers 6 divided by 3 will be 3 no i mean 2 and then x power 1 on the top and x power 1 by 2 in the bottom so you subtract the powers x power 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 9 divided by 3 will be 3 so you write 3 there and then x power nothing on the top and x positive in the bottom so you subtract the powers so when x power 1 by 2 moves on the top that becomes negative 1 by 2 okay i think it is already sim almost simplified so it's 1 by 3 x to the power what is 2 take away a half it will be 4 minus 1 3 over 2 okay and then 2 okay you will see i'm just simplifying the terms i haven't started integrating it yet that's why i'm just keeping the integration sign as it is okay i'm just simplifying the terms first so 2x to the power of 1 take away a half will be a half plus 3x to the power negative a half that's already simplified now no more simplification can be done so you can now apply the integral sign okay in integrand uh, you know you just keep the constant as it is and how to integrate the x to some bigger or lower power whatever you add 1 to the power so 3 by 2 plus 1 you add 1 to the power of x 3 by 2 plus 1 will get you 5 over 2 and you should know you divide by the same power okay this is how you integrate the x add 1 to the power of x and do the same power in the bottom okay plus you write 2 and x add 1 to the power of 1 a half, one half so that is going to be 3 by 2 over you put the 3 by 2 as it is plus 3 as it is because it's a constant so add 1 to the power negative a half plus 1 would get you positive a positive a half okay so 1 half over you get 1 half in the bottom two and then i put the plus c this was a whole integral that's why i applied it directly to each term okay integration sign is gone you integrated every function so that's how you get the c at the end okay whenever integration is done you get the constant of integration at the end now to simplify these fractions there is a fraction within a fraction so fraction in the bottom so you flip it over okay so this 5 by 2 you will write it 2 over 5 times 1 over 3 
and x to the power of 5 by 2 plus this 3 over 2 in the bottom you will write it as 2 over 3 okay and then times it by 2 and x to the power of 3 by 2 and then this a half in the bottom it's 1 over 2 you flip it that becomes 2 over 1 times 3 okay x to the power 1 by 2 now um, you write it uh, 2 times 1 is 2 over 5 times 3 is 15 x to the power of 5 by 2 plus 2 times 2 gives you 4 over 3 you multiply these you are just multiplying the numbers together and x power would be 3 over 2 okay plus 2 by 1 times 3 will be just 6 2 times 3 is 6 and x to the power of a half and x to the power of a half plus c so no more simplification is required to be done here and that is your answer for the integration of the given question okay so we are done with question 3 here let me zoom it out so you can check it up or maybe take a screenshot this is question 3 for you worth 5 marks so all you have to do is simplify the things first and to the extent you can and then apply the integral at the end okay